<laughs> Where's the black lab? Where's the black lab? <laughs> so it's just uh, their feet really failing here on the squad. Well, it's just issue. We got a, we've got. Uh, I think we got an interesting club. You know, we got first of all we got a, a really big break. We're getting uh, Erickson back, who was our number one guy. Yeah. Friday night for two years, and he's back. He's healthy, he's doing really well. So that's a huge break for us. And then we get to O'Brien, and again, both of them are long processes. It took a, lot, a long time for them to get eligible. Once they get eligible, the weight was definitely worth it. So that's really a big break that we got, first of all, with our team to uh, talk about anything else. We got our starting pitching back, which is good. We got our bullpen's a question mark right now. Defense is beat up. Uh, you know, Rod and Perez haven't played this, this spring very much, so uh, so we got some question marks. But I, I think we're gonna have a better club than we've had in, in a while. I, I looked around. I saw Eric. I was like, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> He, he just—he seems to be able to appreciate things a lot more now. Uh, he's, he's matured a lot. I'm sure at times he thought his career was over with after two arm surgeries and uh, and uh, being forced to have to live in Tallahassee where his parents moved. That's like going to you know where. <laughs> but he, uh, uh, you can fill it up like. The, uh, but uh, you know, it's been a long process for him, and then once he's get where he can throw, then the, the process of getting his six year of eligibility, you know, it's not an easy thing to do, and it takes a lot of paperwork and a lot of time. But uh, you know, it's been well worth it for him, and I mean, he's been very, very excited. It's, aside from like the tangible things that Erickson and O'Brien give you on the field, what about off the field? Adding two veterans, two seniors to the clubhouse, what, what does that do to you? No question that they. they uh, bring a lot to us just because of that, the fact of leadership and they, uh, they've been in college a lot, they understand the game and that helps us a lot. You mentioned the infield being banged up, can you give us a picture of the tentative plan you got in the infield right now? I mean, you know, we, we have a tentative plan, you're right. Uh, you know, uh, at first base, you know, it could be one of three guys. At third base, there's a couple, three guys there who could possibly play. You know, we expected Perez and Brawl to, to start up the middle. We both have been banged up uh, this spring, uh, so they have been practicing. And uh, so, so you've got a freshman in both those positions right now that, you know, that are playing every day. And uh, we got a pleasant surprise uh, in the outfield with Julian Santos out of Killian High School who had knee surgery after his senior year. And then he uh, uh, came here and did all the rehab. And the first time I put him in, he, he hits the knee, blows out the other knee, he the on base. So he had two knee surgeries. In his ball, he wasn't very good. And all of a sudden, this spring now, he started playing well. He's leading the team in hitting, and he's playing well, so that's nice. And Dale Carey and Mac and Ronnie Rodriguez, and I feel like our outfield is pretty, pretty good. So, uh, 